Hey people, welcome back. This is Nakul again from Tech Boy, and today I have the new Moto G third generation with me. Now, as you all know, this phone is IPX7 rated, means it's a waterproof or water resistant device. So today I'm gonna put it to test and do bunch of things related to water with this phone. But I wanna warn you that please don't do this with your device at home or at anywhere because if your device stops working, then I won't be responsible. Because I'm doing this at my own risk for my viewers, for you guys. So just sit back and enjoy. Plus, I also want to apologize for all the background noises because I'm recording this video outdoors. So I'm really sorry for that. Anyways, let's get started. Plus, I'm gonna even turn on the front camera and start recording so we can see how it feels from the phone's point of view. So let's start recording. Here we go. I'm gonna go and turn on the water guys. Now as you can see something is happening so I don't know if it's recording anymore or not. And nothing is working obviously. So let's try and go back in the camera. And apparently it stopped recording. Here we go once again. Not on the front cam. There we go. It's not recording. Still not recording. Yep. Now it's recording. Let me go and turn off the water first. So as you can see guys, the phone is fully submerged in the water, here we go, but it's still recording so that's pretty great. Let's see if the loudspeaker is working fine, here we go, and yes indeed, it's working fine. Thus, Let's see the camera and yes it's clear taking photos without any problem the focus is fine plus I don't see any moisture or anything in the camera now there is water in the 3.5mm jack as you can see it's full of water but anyways the phone is working fine let me try and make a call to Vodafone care And here we go. Yep. So as you can see everything is working fine. And yep, this phone is seems to be waterproof, but I'm not gonna tell you the conclusion just now because every phone can work for an hour or half an hour after submerging in the water. So I'm gonna use it for some hours and will tell you the conclusion after that that the phone is still working fine or not. But there are a couple of more things I wanna do with this phone so let's do that first. Okay guys so now I'm gonna submerge this phone fully in this bucket full of water. Again let's start the front cam and start recording. Here we go. So I'm gonna submerge this phone and I'm gonna try and include all these videos from the phone itself in this video. So let's do this. Here we go, fully inside the water.
guys here we go As you can see 37 seconds let's stop and apparently that video is saved now yes plus let's do one more thing I have this toy over here let's dump it in the water and I'm gonna try oops it's not going inside seems like I'll have to find something else Anyways, I'll go and get something else. We'll dump it in the water and try to record it with the rear camera. Okay guys, so I finally found this laughing Buddha, the figure of Buddha. Let's submerge this in the water and then we'll record it with the main camera of the phone. There we go. Let's start the camera. And let's start recording. Though obviously the video recording quality won't be that good, the water is all gloomy. So... Anyways Okay guys, so I did all that to this phone, submerging in the water and what not. I submerged this phone in a water which was 2.5 feet deep, so I did all that. Now I'm gonna open the back panel to see if everything is okay and if the water has went inside or not. As you can see, there's still a bit of water. Now my SIM card and memory card is in there, so let's open the back panel and see what happens. As you can see, the water did go inside, but apparently because of, let me show you, these things, now this kind of a rubbery seal, which is the SIM card area and memory card area, the water didn't go inside this area, but I think I have to wipe it really quickly before it slides to those areas, so wait. But yes, it was all inside the cover, as you can still see the water drops, but it's good that it doesn't go inside this area and this area because of these seals, here we go, as you can see. So I'm gonna dry this phone totally and we'll use it for some hours, 3-4 hours or 5-6 hours to see if it's still working fine or not and then i will tell you the conclusion if this phone is waterproof or not so for me it's gonna be five six hours but for you it's gonna be just a second so i'll be right back okay guys so one second is over and i'm back and i've been using this phone for more than four hours now and it's working all fine i did some calling listening to the music and watched some videos on the youtube as well and it's working all fine no problem whatsoever the touch is fine everything is working really fine as you can see no problems anything there is no moisture in the camera as well as you can see so yep this phone is actually waterproof now i can say so if you guys are looking for a sturdy and durable phone i think this could be a great device because it's not that costly it's waterproof it's durable the specification of the device is also really great and the build quality is amazing so yeah this could be a great device if you are looking for a sturdy and durable phone uh, while making this video, I accidentally dropped this phone and also banged it to the door and nothing happened to this device, not a scratch, so pretty great. So that's pretty much it for right now guys, this was a waterproof test on the new Motorola Moto G 3rd generation. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends, it would help me a lot, trust me. 
and if you have any question comment suggestion as usual put it in the comments down below plus you can also catch me on my facebook page to know my current and upcoming activities the link of that page will be in the description below so go and like me there as well and thank you for watching guys and please do the wise thing subscribe to my channel it's gonna be great ahead and i will see you next time see you